good evening to everyone and welcome to today's session must be with the clarity of uh, the verdict of the court that the results are going to be out of the last entrance exam most of the students are in a good spirit and a high spirits especially those who are preparing for the next exam so we welcome dr shahila mahesh bhramaramba gautabi satya sanjay and the students of tirupati visakhapatnam guntur etc <clears throat> so we finished neuroanatomy and in the upper limb we have finished the nerves and the muscles and the brachial plexus etc etc basically in the gross anatomy how do we approach upper limb and lower limb doctor the bones and joints the arteries and veins and uh, the nerves and the muscles that's how we need to approach the appendicular skeleton the upper limb and the lower limb so as a part of that let's make very sure about the bones and joints of the upper limb some of the most important things which are frequently asked in the exam let us give a focus because anatomy by its very nature is very exhaustive but still somewhere we need to co consolidate so let us make the great beginning doctor if you look at the bones of the shoulder girdle clavicle which is the collar bone is very important what do you remember about the clavicle doctor the first bone to begin the ossification during the fetal development one of the favorite questions of the examiner it is the clavicle and the last one to complete the ossification after we are born is also clavicle where the ossification will be completed at around 21 years of age and uh, generally it is not the nature of the long bones to ossify intramembranously but the only bone which typically is ossified intramembranously is the clavicle is what we need to remember and most of the long bones are vertically aligned the only long bone which is uh, typically horizontally aligned is the clavicle so you have a lateral end a medial end this is the superior view and this is the inferior view as what we were taught in the first year of anatomy then with regard to the scapula what are the important landmarks that you want to remember about scapula doctor this is called the spine of the scapula for the spine there is a root then the scapula has a medial border it has one inferior angle and uh, the spine is very very important because which muscles arise from the spine the deltoid and the insertion of trapezius basically happens from the spine of the scapula then we have a acromion acromion is also important because acromion is the one which provides the origin for the deltoid and also insertion for the trapezius then we have one coracoid process if you look at the biceps brachii muscle and the coracobrachialis they both take the origin from the coracoid process and the pectoralis minor will be coming no even that will have an insertion on the coracoid so this muscles which are associated with the coracoid the origin and insertions of which muscles are associated with the coracoid is one of the commonly asked question which you need to be very sure about is the voice clear for everybody huh just uh, give a feedback is the voice is loud and clear or not that reassures me so we also have dr femida vijay rohit harika meena everyone online that's good now uh if you look at the coracoid process thank you uh, the voice is clear yeah if you look at the coracoid process there are some important ligaments for which it is the site of attachment 
we have one coraco clavicular ligament coraco clavicular ligament between the clavicle and the coracoid we have a coraco acromial ligament is another important ligament to be remembered in relationship with the coracoid so summarize doctor what are the important structures in the coracoid i mean in the scapula you have an acromion process the spine and anteriorly you are having one coracoid process then there is one superior border and uh, there is an inferior border and uh, we have a spine the body the lateral border and the medial border which we should not forget so these are the various ligaments which we are talking the coraco clavicular ligament and the coraco acromial ligament are the two important associated ligaments with the coracoid now there is one small structure which is called the scapular notch scapular notch typically the scapular notch is bridged by the superior transverse scapular ligament and by the bridging of that uh, superior transverse scapular ligament it almost becomes a foramen yeah 